Now they'll have to improve on their prelim score of 9.21 to have a chance to better Rutgers score of 9.26, which leads the competition. USC heading in here in fifth place. And of course, incorporating the California theme. Hey, Mina says it's a huge step for California dance. No real history of ranking high here in this championship. They were top ten three years ago, top five last year. Their goal is the top three this year. Moving from the diagonal, they show incredible flexibility and a combination of technical skills. And to get the 9 and 10 score from the judge, they have to be elite on those executions. Very nice, Fuente turns. Changing the leg position makes it a little bit difficult keeping that center. Very nice, Fuente turns. Now in the palm section, you, know, you do not have to use the palms, but they do need this sharp, crisp motions, and that for this flashy, funky USC team will be their biggest challenge. You can see it right there. They actually will make fists to kind of create a smooth line, making it look very in sync. Beautiful kick line, showing great flexibility. Thing they add in the routine that is not required. first learned this routine in January, changed it up a bit, they put a little more technique and style in from their flashiness, try and catch the judges' attention, and they actually had two competitions, finished fourth and one, and finished first a few weeks ago in Irvine, California, and the girls told us that gave them some confidence here to perform in front of this big crowd for the national championship. And this is their strength, getting funky. Some of these moves they barred from the Trojans basketball forward, Nick Curtis. They call it the Curtis. Some of those arm movements you'll see right there. The hoop team supports them and comes on to watch them practice and perform. 